Forefront, hey, Jason here. I am so excited that this Sunday, July 12th, will be the first time in 16 weeks that we will have people here in service together at 8.30, 10, and 11.30. We'll still continue our online campus because we know that there are many of you who aren't ready to come back, but there's a, a lot more people who said, you know what, I'm ready to come back and be a part, and we value all of you no matter where you land. And so it's the same service that you know and love with a few minor tweaks based on the time of change that we're in. First off is you're going to reserve your seats for service for you and your family and your kids. And so there'll be a link that drops today as well as in the subsequent weeks on Wednesdays. And the reason we have those signups is because we have limited seating and kids will be in service, which leads me to the second piece. We are going to have families together in service for the first few weeks. Our Family Ministry Center is about to open up in mid-August, which is only a few weeks away, and that gives us a greater opportunity to minister to you and your family in a COVID-19 and PPE environment with more space and a new, fresh environment for them to be. So for the first few weeks, we'll have activity bags, and it'll be amazing. Not only that, reserving services, reserving your spot for service, and having those bags in place for kids, because we'll all be together for a few weeks. And as a parent, I get it. A dad of three kids, same, okay? I know that's sometimes difficult, but they can do it, and so can you. But the third thing is we are going to ask that everybody wear a mask while they're inside on campus. Now, I know there's different people that have all sorts of views of what does it mean to wear a mask? And I don't wanna get into what the governor says. I don't wanna get into what the president says. We are gonna ask that you wear a mask when you're inside on campus because we wanna set a standard of what type of church do we wanna be. For our neighbors, for unchurched, and for our city, we've always said we'll do anything short of sin to reach people far from God. And I think for you and I as believers, one of the easiest opportunities that we have to say I love you and care about you is to wear a mask for 50 minutes. What if that meant that somebody's eternity was changed forever in meeting Jesus because we wore a mask on campus? You know, for me, that's a no brainer. My prayer for you is that you would feel the same. We love you, we cannot wait to be together. There's plenty more information that you can get on our COVID update page, and we will see you online or in person this Sunday. Love you, praying for you, and we'll see you soon.